Okay, so here's my latest project. I uh, created a Hackintosh, or running Mac OS X Lion, on this Dell Inspiron uh, 530. It took a while. A lot of Kate Texas, a lot of um, editing this, editing that. But I finally got, I don't know if we can kind of resize this a little bit. There we go. And I, uh, let's do this, there we go. And I finally got it working. Uh, the video card works, native resolution. Um, I had to boot an i386, so it's running off the 32 bit kernel, not the 64. I'll probably have to order a cheap graphics card, something that is actually supported. Uh, this one's, it is, but not in the 64 bit mode. Also, it's running off a solid state drive. For some reason, the startup time is pretty long. I don't know what's hanging on, but it takes about a minute or minute and a half to boot up. But once it boots up, it's really, really quick. So here's the desktop that I have, and uh, you'll notice that when I click on Firefox, and um, all this stuff is um, pretty zippy. Got mail, calendar, um, iTunes. Yeah, everything else works. We also have the launch pad, which in 32-bit mode works really well. Um, I mean, if it's a little bit laggy, I mean, I think it's usable. And this is on a 24-inch monitor, so if you compare it to my hand, that's what the screen is. And I was really surprised, too. I downloaded a game called <laughs> Blood and Glory, just to see how well the graphics performance worked on the, uh, the graphics card in 32-bit mode. And I was really surprised. I mean, that's in-game graphics right there. So, I was happy about that. So we're just going to go ahead and click to continue. Yeah, it's a little tutorial. There it is. Quick game. There. So, I mean, that works really, really well. And then Trillion, we got Mission Control, which we do the control arrow. We go to the gadgets, and this feels really, really out of place. So I don't really care for that very much. We also have photo booth preferences, and the UI is really responsive. So I just finished it last night, and hopefully um, I'll have a video of it when I finally set it up upstairs next to my couch. It'll be kind of cool looking. So anyway, that's my little demonstration of my Hackintosh running on the Dell Inspiron 530. Thanks.